Rockman and Forte has some of the best task runs ever created. And today, as you're about to see, we're going to be looking at the Rockman run. Now, if you guys don't know, you can choose between Rockman or Forte, which is Mega Man or base. And they're actually two separate runs that are completely different. Maybe in the future, I'll do a reaction video on the Forte run of this game. But for now, I thought we would look at the Rockman run because it's kind of more impressive. But the Forte run is also crazy. So if that's something you guys want to see, let me know down in the comments. But for now, we have the intro stage and we're already going ham. We just passed the fire met but as you guys know uh, one of my most controversial things i've ever said on my channel is that the fire mets are not mets they, they're named mets but they don't have a hell met so i don't count them and uh already tas is going crazy now if you don't know tas one of the greatest runners of all time probably the greatest runner of all time i don't know if tas has ever been beaten in any game in any category so tas likes to show off with stuff like this and uh for those who really don't know, it means tool assisted speedruns, so it's basically frame by frame the inputs are put in so you get a perfect speedrun of a game. And you get to see some crazy things that are otherwise impossible by human beings. For example, that frame perfect jumping and sliding on that thing. Now maybe a human being can learn that, I don't know, I don't want to learn it, it's not necessary. But that was the intro stage and we're already about to see King himself, or uh, Proto Man. Now I already can't read, so if you think I can read Japanese, uh, you would be mistaken. Oh, Proto Man's gonna take down King? Ooh. That did not work out very well for him. I'm sure he'll be fine, though. We've seen Zero suffer the same fate, and uh, he was fine. Right? Anyway, yeah, as you can see, we don't actually fight King. That's one of the final bosses of this game. We have to fight the Green Devil, who uh, dies in one hit. I didn't know you could kill him in one hit, but uh, apparently you can. Now, we have the stage selection screen, which is a lot different than normal. You get some weird, like, maze progression, where each boss unlocks two more bosses or something like that. And uh, obviously, you got to start with Cold Man. You get three choices at first, but Cold Man is not only the first choice casually, but also in the speed runs because the weapon you get from Cold Man is unbelievably good, as we're about to see. But let's just focus on the run now. Getting these enemies, getting these screws. Now, another thing with Tass, if you guys don't know, the RNG is manipulated. You can't completely control the RNG, but by manipulating the game's RNG and being able to basically see into the game and retry things over and over until you get the drops you want, you can get any drop you want. So you can get a bolt right there. I don't know what kind of jittering that was to make that jump, but that was impressive. Lots of bolts are being got. I'm sure we're going to get like the fast dash or the super charge shot. There's, there's another ability you can buy from the shop where if you're at... Uh, I think seven bars of health or something so like very low health then you do twice as much damage or definitely a you get a big damage increase we're definitely going to be seeing that taken from the shop but yeah so far we're just seeing some clean gameplay in cold man stage cold man great robot master would love to see him in uh other games i don't know i don't want to be brought back i, I just like cold man okay i like this game rockman and forte is amazing you guys already know i like this game also banger soundtrack as, as always now, you're supposed to ride those ice things to get across there, but apparently Tass has no time for that and just completes the stage immediately. Crazy stuff. And now we have Cold Man, and uh, Tass is treating this like an auto-scroller because you do have to wait for Cold Man to be uh, vulnerable. You see, when Cold Man is flashing, those are invincibility frames, and you can't just spam Cold Man the way that Rockman did to the Green Devil. Well, you could do that, but as you can see, the health bar didn't drop, so yeah. And uh, that's Cold Man. He's already dead. And here we see an example of Ice Wall, which is the weapon Cold Man gives you. That's what it's supposed to do. But as you'll see, we're going to be using it for a lot of different things other than just killing enemies. It will kill enemies, believe me. But uh, let's just go to Astro Man stage and I'm sure it'll show itself off pretty easily. Now, as I'm sure you guys are aware, Astro Man is from Mega Man 8, but the Rockman and Forte version is much better. First of all, look how beautiful this stage is. My goodness gracious. I want to live in those cities down there. Unlike the Mega Man 8 version where there's flowers. I mean, flowers are generally considered to be pretty but uh not compared to this also as you can see there are discs i believe there are 100 discs in this game and there is a task to get 100 of the discs which if you guys want to see i'll also check out but that'll be for another day as you can see the ice wall is already getting some love we saw it push mega man to slide faster we just saw mega man jump on it to go up a ladder and now we just saw it to glitch through a wall and now we just saw it to glitch through an entire boss fight who needs to do simon says and of course it killed an enemy right there yeah so here we go <laughs> ice wall can easily glitch you through walls this is one of the best weapons in mega man history maybe the number one weapon i don't know i'll do a video on that in the future oh my goodness i oh, <laughs> i knew there were glitches but i didn't know you could chain jump on it like what is happening oh my gosh that was dang near the whole st that was the whole rest of the stage so, so that's how you beat astro man stage you uh use ice wall and that's why we go to cold man first when you're speed running rock man and forte 
But now we have Astro Man, and this guy's not weak to Cold Man or anything, so unlike some of the other games, we're not going to be doing just basically the vanilla route very efficiently. We're doing Astro Man next because, uh, I don't know. I don't know why Astro Man was done next, but here he is. Uh, normally I would do Burner Man next if I was playing, but, uh, and Mega Man zipped through the stage for some reason. Maybe it'll be like Mega Man 4 where it becomes useful later, but, uh, <laughs> maybe it renders less particles in this little animation here. I don't know why that happened, but, uh, Mega Man killed Astro Man and left the scene of the crime. And now we're going to Dynamo Man stage, and I guess that explains why we went to Astro Man, because Dynamo Man is weak to Astro Man, and honestly one of the hardest Robot Masters to face casually, and Astro Man's weapon makes it a lot easier. And it's still difficult with Astro Man's weapon, so we're gonna see how Taz handles this. Oh no, a wall is blocking- oh, never mind. Forget the wall. So yeah, this stage is very fun. It's also very hard. To me, this was the hardest Robo Master stage in this game casually. So I'm excited to see what Taz does to uh, make this easier. And that's Astro Man's weapon, by the way. Mega Man makes a Shadow Clone Naruto style. Oh, and uh, there's Ice Wall again. Zip it through the floor. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is why I love the Rockman and Forte Taz. If you guys don't know, this speedrun, not the Taz, but the Rockman and Forte speedrun at AGDQ 2013 is actually what got me into speedrunning to begin with. I mean, it's just such an impressive run. I love glitches and speedruns and efficient gameplay. And with the game as hard, notoriously, as Rockman and Forte, seeing it done like this is just amazing. And uh, those rooms suck casually. I'm probably in a speedrun too, but I assume speedrunners know where they're going. More zips. I love seeing this. We're going to be seeing a lot of this, by the way. So if you like zips, stick around because I'm pretty sure for the entirety of this run, we're going to be seeing glitches and zips like this. Is that a one-up? Come on, Taz is just flexing on us now. And that was the whole stage! We're already a Dynamo Man! So you see that thing Dynamo Man was using to charge himself up right there? He can actually heal himself using that, and you can use Astro Man's weapon to easily take that down. Otherwise, this would be an easy fight. This pattern isn't hard to dodge. It's a weaker version of, like, the Wily Capsule from Mega Man 7. And, you know, Tass is treating this like a joke. And there he goes up in his little thing, and there's Astro Man's power being useful. How is Tass still in the... I'm not gonna ask questions. I think Taz is just having fun because once again, Taz has left the scene of the crime and it doesn't seem to do any benefit other than to entertain us. Now we're going on to Tingu Man stage, which unlike Me oh wait, we're not. We're actually going to the shop. I I'm sure we bought that uh that thing where if you're weak you do more damage. Maybe we bought a hyper slide. I don't know. I can't keep up with how fast that menuing was, and I can't read. But something interesting about Dynamo Man's weapon is that it also causes a lot of zips, and I'm sure we'll be able to see some of that soon. That's probably why we went to Astro Man, then Dynamo. Yep, here we go. That is only possible by using Dynamo Man's weapon. And there's, of course, Cold Man's weapon, the ice wall <laughs> becoming useful once again. You know, you watch this, you think, oh, what a broken game, but believe me, this game is amazing. <laughs> it's not, doing any of this casually is harder than you think. The only ones that are even slightly doable, at least for me, are some of the ice wall clips. I've learned how to do those, but. Oh my goodness, these, these zips are insane. Like 90% of the stage has been skipped just from zipping. Like it's, it's been like, what, 15 seconds? I don't know. I don't know what that did. I think maybe it activated the low health thing. I can't keep up. It's literally too fast. But uh, that that's the stage. That, it's time to fight Burner, man. This is normally who I fight second, but... Uh, you know, it turns out if you get Dynamo Man's power, you can do the stage a whole lot faster. Okay, yeah. You see how Mega Man's sitting like that? He's going, ah. That means he's at the health threshold where he does more damage, which is why Burner Man died so quickly. So that's definitely what was bought at the shop. Next up, we have Pirates Man, which is a really cool robot master. Very underrated. We're going to have a great soundtrack to go with it as well. One thing I do find weird about Pirate Man is that he's weak to Burner Man, which is a water robot master that's weak to fire. Normally, it's the other way around, but, uh, well, we're already skipping <laughs> the entire stage. My goodness. Ice Wall zips you into walls, but uh, Dynamo Man's weapon just is on another level. It just slings you. I don't even know how it works. I've seen glitches of it done in real time, but Tass is on a completely different level. Like, this is insanity. I can't stress enough how insane this is. I know you guys are seeing this too. I'm sure you're at least slightly impressed. And maybe you're expecting an explanation from me, but I'm sorry. How am I supposed to explain this? Do you see how Mega Man jumped everywhere but the spikes? You will die if you jumped on the spikes. It's like... This is, oh my gosh, the stage is already over. It's time to fight Pirate Man. And here's Pirate Man, once again, weak to uh, fire, and Mega Man's at low health, so you know what that means. You're going to be done more damage. Or more damage is going to be done, which is why Pirate Man is already dead. 
<laughs> what a crazy stage. Now it's time to finally go on the Tingu Man stage. I was mistaken last time because I saw Tingu Man at the bottom left, so I assume that's what was happening, but uh, it's actually going to the shop, so. And like I was saying, unlike Mega Man 8, this isn't really an auto-scroller, or at least nearly as much. It starts off as an auto-scroller, but this one's infinitely better, as we can see. Also, if you don't know, using the lightning power lets you, like, jump mid-air. I don't know how Tass is still alive, but normally if you miss a jump, you can use the lightning power and uh, you get a frame-perfect input to jump again. I don't know where Tass is, how this is happening, but I do hear the music being played by Tass. You guys hear that too, right? Oh, there, there's Tass, of course. <laughs> there he is. There's the Mega Man we know and love. And now it's no longer an auto-scroller. Wow. This is why this is so much better than Tingu Man for Mega Man 8. Well, one of the many reasons, let's say. Ooh, nice damage boost to make it across that jump. These are some cool looking enemies too. Ooh, and another zip. Gotta love those. Jeez. Yeah, that, that's why Astro Man was done second, to get that as fast as possible. My goodness. I hope I'm not in the minority when it comes to glitches like this, because I did glitches in some of my How to Beat the Cool Way videos, and you guys were like, it's not fair, you shouldn't beat the game. Oh, okay, speaking of glitches, brace yourselves. That's a good one, right? That's a pretty good one. That's just like the uh, one from Mega Man 7 with Turbo Man and Spring Man. <laughs> what, what a great stage and a great fight. And again, I love glitches. I hope you guys do too, because this run is once again going to be full of them. This is why it's one, it might be my favorite task. It probably is my favorite task of any Mega Man game. Even though I've never speed ran Rockman and Forte, I love Rockman and Forte. And this task is so insanely impressive. It's just a great combination for me personally. So I hope you guys can enjoy this even half as much as I do. And next up, we have Ground Man, who's another under rated robot master that I like a lot. All right, here's ground man stage. And now we have Tingu Man's weapon, which does make you go a little bit faster. You see being used there. It's kind of like a slide, but more like a dash, I guess, because you do go slightly fast. Ooh, nice zip there. I didn't know that was there. That's one I was unaware of. My goodness. And to be clear, I haven't been aware of most of these zips. I know there's a lot of zips in this game, but because I've watched the real live speed runs, I have not seen them as insane as these. Oh, another great placement by that bomb. <laughs> okay, forget that fight. Who needs it? Who needs it? And who needs ladders either? Oh my gosh. This whole stage. This whole stage is just... <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't say anything. Is that glitched graphics? I can't even... Is that supposed to be sand? There's supposed to be sand there, but I think the graphics are just glitched from screwing up the game so much. But here's Ground Man. Let's see how this fight goes. He's weak to those bombs. And, uh... Yeah, Mega Man is once again at a low threshold of health, so Ground Man died very quickly. And next up, we have Magic Man, who's another Robot Master that I really like. I know I've said that a lot, but the Rockman and Forte Robot Masters have great design, and Magic Man especially is one of my favorites, I've got to say. One day I'll rank them all, but this one's got to be up there. The only problem with Magic Man is that his stage is a lot like Clown Man stage, but it's at the very least cooler because it's at night. And uh, if you've seen Spongebob, you know everything's cooler at night. But yeah, if you've played Mega Man 8 and you've never played Rockman and Forte, you can already see the similarities. I'm sure you could have seen... Oh, wow, the whole game's graphics are messed up, I just realized. What is this jittering that Taz is doing to, like, just fly? What is happening? <laughs> I, I'm not going to ask questions. But yeah, this, this game also has the same graphics as Mega Man 8, like I was saying, but it's on the Super Nintendo. That's why I did this after Mega Man 8, because technically it's Mega Man 8.5 or whatever, but this game is great. Okay, Mega Man just zipped over spikes. I'm pretty sure that would kill you if Mega Man wasn't in invincibility frames, but the whole game is so screwed up now, I don't even know what to say. Like, look at Mega Man's health bar. The bottom of it just has a blue box. The game is broken. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what- I'm literally speechless. I think the small screw sprite is also just out of memory now. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, here's Magic Man at least. What an intro to- what an intro by Magic Man. Damage- oh my- what happened to the top right of the screen? <laughs> Good- you know what? I'm not gonna ask questions once again. Maybe Mega Man leaving the scene of the crime is uh, for the best this time. Now, before we go on to the Wily stage, I mean, uh, the King stage, is first something is bought in the shop. I think that was a few spike invincibility things where you get to step on spikes and only get damaged. But first, we got to go to this weird crystal thing, which I've always really liked. I like this whole thing. You basically have to use your weapons to, you know, 
hit these special blocks. These, these blocks, they're the color of the weapon you have to use, and they can only be broken by that specific weapon. Now, you can't see it. You're supposed to wait for the bolt. What happened there? I don't know. Um, anyway, casually, you're supposed to wait for a big bolt to spawn. You get a lot of bolts at once, but Tass got all those amazing drops earlier in the game, so you don't have to waste time on that. And again, this is meant for you to learn how to use the weapons. This isn't just some pointless thing or free bolts. Well, it's kind of free bolts, but as you can see, it, it just... It's a way in the game to give you a tutorial on how to properly use your weapons, which I think is actually really cool. Ice wall, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to make it slide across the spikes, but... Casually, this is one of my favorite things ever. I, as a kid, at least, I just thought this was so cool. I don't know why, I just thought it was. But yeah, you do have to do that. It is required. But now, it's finally time for the king stages. Uh, I don't like how there was three Ks on my screen there. So hopefully Mega Man beats these levels fast. And here's king stage one. This stage is pretty hard, but it's nothing compared to king stage two, I believe. If that's the one I'm thinking of. But uh, Mega Man's already up in the wall. This <laughs> record-breaking time to be in the wall. My goodness. Again, I, I'm kind of speechless when I watch these glitches. They're just so cool. Oh my gosh. The ice jump into the ice wall glitch. Even getting into the wall with the ice wall is hard enough. Like, so just combining all these tricks is changing colors while using the dash. Unnecessary. That's just a cool visual trick. I didn't even save time. Oh my gosh. Is any of this game played normally? Oh, well. That answers my question right there. Perfect timing. <laughs> I don't know what causes these graphical glitches, but I'm here for it. Especially after the Mega Man 1 speedruns. This is fun to see. Oh, now we get to see a Titamino. Normally there is a cutscene before here, but clearly that was skipped somehow. Can I tell you how? No, it was all too fast for me, but there's a human way to skip it too. It's not this. And a Titamino died. That is Hitsumino is much better than the one from Mega Man 8, but uh, you can fall into the lava right there if you do it wrong, so if you're playing this casually, be careful. And now it's time for King Stage 2, which really could have been two separate stages. I don't know why the game insisted on having three Ks right there, but they easily could have had four. I mean, it's, it's a little bit offensive at this point, to say the least. But anyway, King Stage 2, here we go. This is one of the hardest stages in Mega Man history, if not the hardest, maybe rivaled by some of the Mega Man X games, but... I would say this is easily the hardest level in all of classic Mega Man. Like, I haven't played the Game Boy games, but through Mega Man 1 through 11 in this game, this is the hardest stage ever. Because first we have, we had that stage, which Taz made very easy, but now we have to fight a tank boss. So let's just see how this goes before I continue on that thought. Okay, gotta get low health to do more damage, of course. What is happening? I no longer know. <laughs> this is crazy. This is not how you're normally supposed to fight this boss. What is happening to Mega Man? What a dodge! What a dodge of those bullets! So you would think now we go on to King Stage 3, right? Nope, we're still in King Stage 2. You know what happens if you game over? You go back to the beginning. So, uh, yeah, there's a reason this is one of the hardest stages ever. Even with these glitches, this is crazy. I don't even think you get weapon fill-ups. Maybe I'm mistaken. It's been a while since I've beaten this game. But surely it won't be a problem for Taz. Oh my! <laughs> what is this? Just floating up there? Clearly, there's some jittering thing you're able to do that's frame perfect back and forth and keeps you in the air. I don't know how that works, but it does. What? What is this? Oh my. Okay, I. I what am I looking at? This is insanity. This is insa If you don't know, dying right there skips the animation of that. That wasn't just a death. And yes, we're still in King Stage 2. That's two castle bosses we've had to fight. So, and here's another one. We're just getting right into it. Up into the wall again. Who would have thought? <laughs> At least this section was shorter, right? And there's King himself. This is going to be a good battle. Psych. Who wants to battle King? Let's go ahead and fight Ultimate King and his King Tank. Yeah, uh, if you don't know, it, somehow, if you didn't notice what happened, uh, there's supposed to be a boss fight there. But it was skipped. Normally there's a boss fight and then you go to this thing. But uh, yeah. It, even human beings can uh, glitch out of there. That's not like an impossible glitch. But to do this kind of efficiency is insane. Tass is fro- What is this? Is Tass making a sprite sheet? I Again, I can't read. Otherwise I'd tell you what's happening. King's probably like you've broken the whole game. 
Mega Man, <laughs> why are you not obeying the laws of physics? That's not cool. That's probably what was said. I don't know. I can't read, especially not Japanese, but anyway, it's finally time for King Stage 3, which is actually Dr. W Stage 1, and the only Dr. W stage, it seems. Another banger soundtrack. This whole game has banger soundtracks. One of the reasons I like it so much, a very underrated game. Too many people play the Game Boy version of this game and just hate it, but the Super Nintendo version is superior on all fronts, but we got to refight Cold Man. There's no time for this talk. I talk about it all the time in my videos anyway. This refight doesn't seem much different than the other one. Mega Man is taking damage to activate that uh, superpower where you do more damage. Mega Man turned into an icicle. The background is broken. Mega Man is in the ceiling. And Mega Man is in the wall. All right. But don't forget to check your walls before you go to sleep to make sure Mega Man is not in there. Though I'm sure if you're not evil, you probably won't do anything. Mega Man's a nice guy. But now it's time for Astro Man's refight. There's Astro Man. We're still at low health, so that means Mega Man is doing extra damage. Again, I don't know. I don't think it's double damage. Maybe it is. I don't know the exact rate, but those charge shots normally do not do damage like that. Believe me. And Mega Man is in the ceiling once again. Already into the next corridor when the music starts. <laughs> Crazy. This looks like Dynamo Man stage if I've ever seen it. Okay, now we're fighting Dynamo Man. I wonder if we're even going to have to whip out Astro Man. He might die so fast that it doesn't matter. Oh, no. He does go up there no matter what. Okay. Astro Man was not whipped out, but it didn't matter. And uh, the graphics are once again destroyed. If Me Again, that's one of those glitches. You see how Mega Man was going down? If Mega Man kept going down, you follow the stage and either die or soft lock. So there's... These glitches look easy. They look like the Mega Man 2. Okay. My eyes really hurt now. <laughs> Mega Man's just in the floor. I, you probably can't tell. I, I wouldn't blame you if you couldn't. <laughs> If this was happening to me, like, while playing the game, I would think my monitor broke. What kind- How does this even happen? How do you break the game this badly? Okay, thank God it's fixed. That was kind of giving me a headache. Oh, yep, skip this. Why would we wait for that guy to break things? Come on, Me Mega Man doesn't have time for this. And now Magic Man. Even the regular black texture, because that's supposed to be a black silhouette, is just... Oh my goodness. He's being beat with his own weapon? Why? What, what did, did Mega Man just turn into missing? No, what is happening? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening this entire run. I do know we're fighting Ground Man though. That I can at least keep up with. Ground Man probably doesn't stand much of a chance though, if I had to guess. And uh, Ground Man is dead, so that's true. And Mega Man's immediately in the ceiling once again. And here's Tingu Man. Now it doesn't seem like we're getting the quick kill, like we did last time. So. uh... Yeah, that, that was cool. You see how when uh, Tingu Man's health bar filled up, Mega Man switched those weapons? That was awesome. What is happening at the bottom of the screen? It's like changing texture, too. It's not even the same glitch texture. What is going on? What? Did a cutscene get skipped? Why is there dead pixels in the middle of the screen? Why is the wrong music playing? The game is so broken. Everything is broken. The pause menu is broken. Okay, Rush Search. You know why Rush Search is here? To dig up some weapon energy. This is going to be very important in just a second. You see that little bomb? Mega Man was out of that bomb energy, but had got used Rush Jet to get energy so the tail end explosion of that bomb could quick kill the final boss of the game. And this image you see on screen is the perfect representation of this task. It's completely broken, it's full of glitches, and it was a lot of fun. That was insane. Even the credits! Even the credits have turned into missing no. Oh my goodness. This is easily the best task run we've seen so far. I might watch the, the Forte run of this. I probably will at some point. I don't know if I'm going to do it next or Mega Man 9. So whatever you guys want to see, leave it in the comments if you want to see Mega Man 9's task next or Forte's version of this task next or maybe even the 100 disc task because I'm sure that's insane. But yeah, that was the task of Rockman and Forte and it was absolute insanity. Easily the best task we've seen so far. I always talk about how much I love Rockman and Forte and the speed run of this game, not even the task, is really what got me into speed running in general and I did love Rockman and Forte before for that but watching the speed run is why i love it as much as i do today it was always in like my top five favorite Mega Man games but when you get to the speed runs of certain games you appreciate them a lot more and rockman and forte is not only no exception but it's honestly the leading example of this anyway as always i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as i did because that was amazing this is the best time i've had watching a task so far which is crazy because i speed run Mega Man 1 and 2 and those were also insane so let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see next do you want to see the forte runner rockman and forte do you want to see the 100 discs 
run of Rock Man and Forte, or do you want to see Mega Man 9 next? Let me know down in the comments because, I mean, you guys have been loving these videos. I'm honestly surprised, so I'm going to keep them up until you guys get bored of them. But until then, that's what we're going to be seeing on Saturday, so leave a comment down below on which one specifically you want to see. And I'll see you there on Saturday.